All right, so we've got another match here. Two more of the evening now. It's going to be between Benji and Ouija. Coming up right in a second. And then at 10 o'clock, Tabascoth versus Rock Chalk. So the last two games of the second week of D1 here in the standings come by. You got Cheese and Punk okay, taking those two and O's. And currently we've got Draws and Heisenberg both taking, L, taking L's. Draws just forfeit his last race if you were watching. But right now we've got Ouija and Benji, who both have a W. So whoever wins this one is going to go 2-0 and be one of the top three here coming in the third week of the league. So this is a pretty important match here. Ouija just got a PB today, a 48-03. Benji's PB is only five days old at a 48-47. So they have really been in high gear right now. Very active runners. And honestly, I'm really excited for this one. Once again, I'm here with Scotch and Ty Guy. He's going... So ham on the commentary, he's making the pigs jealous. What's up, my dude? Oh, I was doing well, you know, gets to do uh four races today. Pretty exciting. Benji and Ouija, though. Uh, you know, Ouija, one of those up and comers that we've seen just kind of skyrocket up the charts uh of the leaderboards. Benji, you know, uh been doing a lot of work. Uh see him play very, very well as of late. Expect a lot from him this season. Uh, we've got the timer going. Benji already 10 seconds in. Ouija going to get the start here in just a second. Uh, but this is another pre-recorded race, unfortunately. So we will not be getting any interviews after for you. But this is the first time that we are seeing this as well. So these will be genuine reactions. This will be genuine commentary. Uh, nothing pre-recorded on our end. Benji with the Japanese version and Ouija with the English version. And more importantly, real time face cams. Somehow they, they know to dab on the oh, intro. Yeah. So, you know, you might be able to tell, but they're kind of on the young end. Benji's like 13, Ouija's 16. Or ba Benji might have just turned 14. But yeah, they're both like, I think they're the two youngest runners in the league here. So we're going to see both of them go at it. Both of them, you know, have had a, quite a few. I don't know, encounters with anger issues, but I think like as they've gone on the last year, they've both really matured a lot and it's pretty cool to see. You know, Ouija was kind of known for breaking controllers and getting angry or whatever, but you know what? Like I haven't seen much from him recently, but <laughs> this game will never fail to make you angry. So that'll also be something to watch for on the face cams. Well, it's, I mean, young, these guys are younger. Uh, so that sort of immaturity per se coming out. But fortunately, you know, they, you have plenty of older guys that they get to look up to and kind of look at and um, take advice from. So definitely getting their minds set. Ouija going for Island Hop to start. Benji taking care of Bomb Clip in the meantime. But. This is big. Para tried to do this earlier, wasn't able to get it, but Ouija able to complete this island hop to start. Yeah, first try getting that whole time safe. Only about five seconds, but still pretty juicy and shows how confident he is right now. And so Ouija can be doing Womps 10, Benji Womps 9, so the roots won't quite be synced until they're out of Dark World going to Kukla Mountain, but at the same time, they might choose to alternate between... Well, not alternate, but they might both do double plus they might not we'll have to see so benji are on the side ouija getting a good bomb clip as well so that's gonna be two down for ouija we'll see anyone's got a side guess i'm gonna say maybe 12 8 oh okay 12 6 that was fast. Uh, something to note here uh as far as controllers goes uh benji plays on that gamecube controller mm-hmm uh, so interesting that he chooses to do that. Most players play on the OEM. We know that uh, Draws and Cheese play on the Hori. But Benji, the only one that I know of, you know, Chad can correct me if you'd like, uh, that I know that plays on the, the GameCube controller. Yeah. Ouija also, at the time of this, has been pretty new to a new stick, or that doesn't even make sense, but he's got a new stick called the Prestige 64. And like he kind of tinkered with it to get it into a good playable state. So like that's what he's using right now. And the 12-5 on the slide, definitely the controller giving him an unfair advantage here. 12-6, you know, the best you can do on OEM or GameCube, I mean. 
I don't know what Luigi's expression here is. Maybe just wondering how his how his run's so good and he got 12-5. Like Benji come up here. It's gonna be Owlist. I'm not getting that double jump though. Sirius can kinda eat that. This is a scary spot to start it from. Alright, he's made it in. Save setup for Ouija. And he lands that one. Yeah, you have to see the texture setup. Uh personally in a race. Uh you know, everyone going for that more consistent full setup. Benji starting to work on his 100s. Going for the standard cycle. Ouija choosing the pro cycle. Really good dive to get both those coins he missed on the first pass. Not necessary at all, but pretty pretty technical there to get the right angle. So Benji's made his cycle. Ouija about to make his as well really early. You would never think that it's the pro expert cycle. Oh, oh no, that he fell RNG, down. that blue coin. That blue coin RNG was just uh, horrendous. Yeah. Good backup for Ouija here. We're going to have to grab that red. All right, so maybe like 10 seconds lost on his part. Not too bad at all if he finishes the 100 coin well. And Benji's still pretty smooth. He didn't do Island Hop, but his 100 coin went pretty nicely. All right, so the star count is a little bit off right now. Benji's got six before Ouija does, but he's probably only in the lead by a couple seconds. Yeah, that, that unfortunate RNG with the blue coin might have taken away the advantage that Ouija had with that island hop route. But we'll find out here in a little bit. Just exactly the, the 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 time difference based on the right uh, the routes used. We just got a four a forty eight oh three earlier today. Like maybe ten hours ago, if that. Wait. Much less than that. I it was not long ago at all. All right, so Benji's got his eight star. Ouija's got eight as well. And Benji is having a really nice Womps right now. If you think of a six forty Womps as being pretty much perfect, Benji is not far behind that at all. And then kind of similarly, a Wom's 10, you know, would be around like 7.15 or something like that. If it's really, really good. Yeah, Benji not able to get that clean movement up the, the uh, tower for top of the fortress. Um, so not able to clutch out that perfectly clean Wom's, but not too terrible. Second side for Benji, any guesses? Because I'm completely wrong right now, so I don't even want to make one. But if I have to, I'd say 12 7. I'll go with 12 7 as well. 12 6 oh, again. 12, 6. <laughs> A synchronized dab from Benji and Ouija. Both these guys are having fun with it. If only we had like a, just the mirror image of the dab, so they could dab opposite each other. <laughs> the flying looks a little bit tougher on GameCube controller because of the slightly larger dead zone. But Benji, you know, still kind of wobbling his way through it pretty well. Decent arcs. Ouija, another 12-5! What a legend. 12-5 is pretty much perfect on the slide. I mean, it is perfect. And we just got two of them casually. No pressure. Not even hard.
Yeah, Luigi and Benji are probably talking to each other either in Discord or just like whatever else, I don't know. Alright, good wing cap for Ouija as well. Looks like he needed to back it up a little bit there. Not sure where he missed. I was watching Benji's when uh, Ouija started. Oh, but the amp! That was, Ooh, that was very scary. You actually have to be extremely unlucky to die there, because if you're even the least little bit on ground, the amp will kind of shock you there. But it is possible to die over the crevice. Let's we'll see if Ouija wants to go ham on Dark Rail. Looks like he's playing it safe though, at least on the Switch. Might still go for Shia Cycle. Yep, okay. Ouija's really good at the box rollout. No, okay. Usually when people do a dive rollout there, that means they want to go for the box rollout. Ouija opted not to. But I guess he could still make it if he really, really wanted to. But not advisable at all. Okay, he's going for it. Kind of wow. a madman, not really saving time, but he managed to get it done. I mean, that, that cheese block was very narrow. Opting to activate those stairs, Benji. Finishing up Dark World at about exactly 10 minutes into the run. But here's where the run will converge as Ouija finishes up Dark World here with this last throw. Benji will be entering into BOB to do Sky Hop, but Ouija will be heading directly into CCM. And it appears that Ouija should be in the lead heading into CCM. I have no idea. They might be tied. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what the castle movement is. But I would say, yeah, Ouija should be in the lead. Okay, a little bit of what slide, 10, 46, 47, door touch. It's like an eight second lead there, or nine. And we just come up on wall case will work a pretty easy start once you get it down, but there's always the chance of death if you miss the wall kick. And, you know, not getting that roll out to land with the dive. Decent back up though, getting that right off angle. You know, those wall kicks. When you're going for the low strat, this is like a much safer alternative. Loses a bit of time, but as you can see, it gave him a little bit of an edge over Ouija there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these two keeping it pretty close uh, into CCM. Bringing this little penguin home. Back to mom. Grabbing the star. Yeah, if I had to guess, they're both going to go for CCM 17 double plus here, which means they'll go off for one for 100 coins straight away now. And we'll see what BG does. Yep. So double pillarless is obviously one of the most um, time variants parts of the run where you can see big leads come and go. But I think Ouija is really, really good at Tomoplast from all his 16 experience and Benji as well. A kind of surprising specialist and also being able to do it in Mario Cam just for the heck of it. So he's got like a pretty good grasp of the strat. Uh, Benji opting to do CCM 18 though, uh, as you see him getting that slide star done uh, by itself without 100 coins. So we will see the routes diverge once again. They will converge back uh, once they exit SSL. Yeah. All right. End of Cool Cool Mountain for Ouija. And you're picking so up the extra red coin for safety 
Yeah, it's a really good safe strat option. It loses maybe like four seconds at the most. And you don't really have to worry about losing your run to the penguin race. Well, this is a nice pace for Ouija. It's nothing ridiculous, but it's very good. And for race, this is probably exactly what he was hoping for. To be around this kind of pace out of Kulko Mountain. Oh, Benji's got to be careful here. The penguin is messing with him, but he's able to mitigate it. Yep, has to miss three coins here. Got it done. up to the big boo nice kill for Ouija pretty clean Benji wrapping up CC I might have a star sink nope a little bit earlier on Benji's side all right so we got Benji come up in BBH now obviously Ouija is a little bit ahead but like you said SSL can change all of that in a heartbeat. Everyone dies on pillar list sometimes. And both runners just seem, I mean, I guess that was not the cleanest Honda book start, but they both seem very on point with their movement. You know, they're very active right now. They're putting the hours, I don't see any rust on them at all. It's pretty much, they know what they need to do. And for the most part, they're getting it done. So this is really good. And also Benji being a much newer runner than Ouija and not just in age, but in experience. He's doing really well to keep up so far. All right, first star in basement is just Mips. Ouija gonna go for that punch grab. Benji is on JP, so that's gonna be a little bit faster of a bunny. So punch grab might be a bit tougher. Benji just turned 14, I think. Like he turned 14 like a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah, Luigi in chat. He might have even been 13 at the time they played this match. I don't know when it was. Benji and Luigi are both actually pretty tall. Luigi's like 6'1, Benji's like 5'9. And I'm short. <laughs> Good plus for Ouija with the SSL secrets. Benji Bonk in there. You can see just a little bit of face cam jolt. Just a what? An instinctual knockback in real life. Second big bomb for Ouija. Good angle. He's done it a million times. And make that a million and one. I mean, yeah, it's pretty normal high life, but they're both going to keep going. Like, Ouija's 16, Benji's 14. So, they're both going to get up there. Benji taking care of his one plus. Gets it done. First try. I'd, I'd like to see Benji do a double plus in races. He, he's he, he, that, that was a super confident, super clean plus there. Yeah, uh, he, he can do it. Sure he can, but it's also a question of will it be every time? And on, on last season, one of the things that was Benji's downfall was going for ridiculous things that he couldn't hope to do consistently. So it kind of just the added maturity to take things a bit safer might be a good decision in the long run. But yeah, he's definitely got the mechanical ability to do it. Alright, Benji wrapping up SSL. Not too far behind, a low 18 is pretty darn fast for not doing double plus or island hop like Ouija did. It's maybe like 10 seconds slower on the hole as a route. But Ouija still on a pretty hot pace. Got through SSL, one of the toughest stages without any major hiccups. 
and he doesn't look to be slowing down at all. This is kind of Ouija in his, like, peak form. Alright, pro lava boost. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did he roll out on, like, the ruins? Like, the little stone there? I'm yeah, he sure did. He rolled off of that one block on the right side. That's pretty great. What a legend. Oh, Benji's gonna fall in the lava 2 HP. He can't go for lava boost now. Yeah, I'm gonna go back, uh, do elevator tour elevator. instead. All right, one HP, he... gotta watch the fire up here. Yeah, and he doesn't know what cycle he's on either, so he's gotta get it done quick. Yeah. He skipped the flame altogether. Not too bad considering the circumstances. But a few more seconds in Ouija's pocket. And we just pretty much halfway through Lethal Outland already. That's 28 stars out of 30, two more, and then we'll be in DDD. A nice ground pound strat for Ouija, getting that big bully out of the way, but a ground pound when he didn't mean to do it is going to kind of cancel out that time save. Yeah, you try, to get those, the star. you try to get those long jumps out as quickly as you possibly can, but instead of long jumping, sometimes you can get a ground pound instead, which is a bummer. Yeah. Ouija long jumping across this lava gap. Heading over, gonna take care of some bullies. Yeah, it's a movement that we all take for granted, but it's kind of nice how easily the stage is set up so that there is a, a kind of middle nexus that is the volcano area that you can cut through. So it doesn't take more than a few seconds to get anywhere in the stage. Alright, Ouija on 30 with a low 21 fade out of Lethal Lava Land. So that's a really nice run here. Definitely the kind of pace that would... I mean, I guess I don't know his PB splits, but that'd be pretty pretty close to PB-able run. Oh, Benji just a little too far away with those that triple bully kill. And yeah. <laughs> kind of awkward on that last bully as well. Yeah, but gets it done. It's like Benji took the bully with him, even though we got hit. It's pretty funny. Usually it's one or the other. We do miss the chest. Might even be the biggest make mistake he's made so far since 100 coin in the lumps. Kind of got a double back for that one. It's always fun to mess up swimming. Alright, rest of the story is decent. He's going to be getting that star as Benji enters the stage. Alright, we'll see if Luigi goes for fun sub. I imagine he does. He's the kind of person who isn't afraid of anything. And that's where he's gonna go this time around. Here we go. Good chests for Benji, at least better than Luigi's. You know, getting the proper cues of when to turn for front sub can be tricky. But as Lunar Jump did a tutorial of, you can kind of line Mario up with one of the headlights around the basin of the the docks. 
I guess it'd be like in the sky or on the ceiling. But then look at Bowser's face on the wall. And then it kind of as it fades out, just kind of go to the right and it'll actually sign, um, give you a pretty good angle. Alright, no hiccups on Manta. And Benji committing to that rear sub. A little more consistent, obviously. Yep. Thought he was going back into DDD, it seems like. Ouija overshooting the big hole in the ground. One interesting thing about Ouija is he doesn't go for the 2019 Fire Sea movement that, that Art came up with a while back. It's probably like six months ago now, but it still like makes the cycle a lot more consistent. Ouija is just so confident in the old way, and he's pretty early too, like, it doesn't even look like he needs it at all. Like, that's really early. <laughs> yeah, no worries at all. I mean, plenty of space between him and that platform. Getting these rollouts done. Seventh red coin is free. And Benji, unfortunately, taking a little bit of a booty burn. Before yeah. grabbing that first red coin. Just a nice side flip ending for Ouija to grab the pole a bit quicker than, wall than the wall kicks. So hot fire C now looking to be like a 25-30, maybe better. Or like, yeah, a little bit better than 25-30. So huge pace right now for Ouija. Yeah, Benji needs to hurry it up, otherwise he's going to miss these early alleys. Able yeah, to get the 6 so coin. No. But, nope, yeah, it kind of ate his triple jump movement there a little bit, trying to get up there. Yeah, you can, like, wiggle your side flip into a double jump, but he did it too late, and when you have to do a single jump there, you don't have enough time to restart the triple. Getting amped, but able to avoid the lava, which is good. Ouija, done with Fire Sea, heading upstairs into Wet Dry World. A few more booty burns for Benji, so it's been a kind of unfortunate scene in his camp, but it's not really over. He's less than a minute behind, maybe exactly a minute even, because we just went upstairs. There's a lot of time to lose and a lot for Benji to gain. You never know what's going to happen. Just because Ouija's on like high 47 kind of pace right now doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way. And this star can be one of the warning signs here. A lot of RNG. Ooh, Benji, three quarter spin. Pretty hot. Nice skeeter RNG for Ouija here. Oh, he's going away. It was kind of annoying when he doesn't make up his mind. Well, he just kind of stood there. Ouija taking care of 100s with those secrets. Benji on his way upstairs. Nice side flip on the box here. Yep. Those boxes are going to be pretty tricky. Um, for season runners like Ouija and Benji, it's kind of second nature. But you have to really watch the weight of your single and double, or of your double jump, especially when you go up there. Otherwise, you'll kind of get a ledge grab or maybe land too low. All right, pretty good ending. Still have that chuck your coin to miss. Benji's already missed his. Nicer to get RNG though. Yeah, it is to note that Benji, the RNG to start with those coins was not great. Steve Boyle already can't wait to see Rock Chalk's dog. Not even Frank. worried about the race going on right now. Frank has been a star, man. Yeah, for real. What Frank? if Rock Chalk says one day, like, nah, he needed to be in the other room while I race for my focus, and then... I don't know what would happen there. Views would cut in half. Who knows? <laughs> Frank's gonna be the uh, new mascot for GSA. I have his emote. There it is. 
But Benji finishing up that 100, gonna be grabbing the Secret Star as well. Ouija, triple jump off the cage. Dark Talk, thankfully, um, soothing our fears, saying that Pink would tear the place apart if he was locked out, so. <laughs> yeah. Dog on cam confirmed. I will say dog cam does. I I used to do dog cam when I streamed and it for sure brought in views. You're not wrong. Yeah. Benji, ground pound. Do wall kicks in this cage. Yeah, pretty nice there. Got quite a few firsties as well, I think. Maybe maybe not, but pretty fast. Now uh, we ha entering Tiny Huge Island, Rock Talk's favorite stage. But honestly, in 70, it's not too bad. It's pretty short stars. But if you mess up on a tiny island like this, it can go really bad. Really I don't know how Ouija got out of that one. Just kind of weave his way through the Goombos. Yeah, we definitely have avoid the worst of it in THI, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> Last Benji. wet dry world star, yep, for Benji. Quick, easy warp. We are certainly gonna be going for that mountain clip. Pretty small time save, but pretty cool looking. Oh no, he's trying to get over this ledge. All right, that slowed him down a little bit, but still keeping his momentum is the most important part for that die rollout. Yeah, Funky got a 48.04. And Benji coming around here with that Mario Camp. You know, we'll see Tab would probably in the next race go for a single jump over that Ford Secret. If you don't have a lot of speed, it can save a little bit of time. But honestly, just getting around the island without losing a bunch of time is the most important part, however you want to do it. So really, no meltdowns. I can't even use my THI sucks emote. I mean, obviously Benji could still have some issues here. Oh, Ouija might have missed the star. <laughs> okay. Quick and easy ground pound. We're all so used to Mario noises at this point. Honestly, the sound design is pretty good. It would be a lot more annoying. Ouija having to readjust the cam there. Mid run. Will that affect his gameplay? Probably not. Nice wall, wall kick off the log. Good stuff. You know, there's really not too much I can even comment about Ouija. He's just really playing super solid and not really giving Benji any room to catch up. Even when he makes a little bit of a mistake, all just comes right back down. He gets into his rhythm again and pops out like another two or three clean stars. And it's like it never happened. So this is still a decent run for Benji, but Ouija is just kind of out of his mind. Maybe oh, not quite Punk A47 pace, but this is like a very good showing for such a, a young player as well. Even though he's kind of a veteran already. And then Ferrari says <laughs> Luigi is adorable. I mean... Adorable one gets you breezes, though. So. Oh, that was a sick rollout. He actually adjusted so well with the breeze there. Playing on top of that second level there. Usually, you just kind of fly up into the air and land. He actually rolled out there and just landed pretty much instantly. 
Okay, Red Coin's one of the hottest stars in the run. We need to keep it in Mario Cam. And that double jump dive wall out onto the stream. And he's going so fast now, that wow. risky wall out. And great angles with the long jumps now. Luigi put on a show. In the Absolutely finish. Stunning. That that was a, a perfect. I, I can't I can't think of anything through that eight red coins that couldn't could have been better. That probably beat my PB. And like Luigi just did not take anything safe. It was the perfect angle. Got the right amount of height on his jumps. It was so smooth. Like, I could kind of break that down all day, but like, there's a lot more stuff going on. Like, Benji getting breezed this when Ouija couldn't. That's gonna be a nice time save. Into SL for Ouija. Again, on a very, very nice pace right now. Benji, gonna be finishing up here. Two more to go here in TTM, working on reds. Yeah, also doing that speed kick movement to roll out of the shroom and the small shroom rollout is equally hot. Oh, and he does. And he's getting it done. Yeah, a little bit of a slide there at the end, so not, not as perfect as Ouija, but that was very, very nice. And still like a nine on my scorecard. Ouija just pulled out a 10 though. And while Benji was taking care of Red's Ouija with a very nice snowman's head movement. Good job with the box. The ground pound gets that star. Ouija kind of consistently staying like a star or two ahead of Benji here. I mean, he's just finished KTM, which is not that far behind. SL is pretty quick. Four stars in less than two minutes. Nothing over like 13 seconds e either. I mean, if you do it optimally, I suppose. Benji Snowman's head. Nice wall kick. Smooth sailing. We, we jacks on the ground pound. Oh well. Pretty good overall. He's just in such a rhythm. I don't know how he's been able to find this consistency, but I guess he's just kind of in that groove when he's playing a bunch. He can do anything. Luigi going to be heading downstairs into HMC now. We're heading into Tippy. I mean, he's in a groove, dude. Uh, just crisp, clean movement besides, you know, Womps 100. Uh, nothing else in this run has really been too out of place. Yeah, we have like maybe three, five plus second mistakes to point out in the entire run right now. And Luigi is coming to HMC. I would say once you're done with HMC, a good player, like, at his level can do Tippy in under nine minutes. That's, like, without any big mistakes. So we'll see after HMC what kind of potential he's still got in this run, because it's pretty insane. Benji is going to be finishing up SL as well, heading into HMC. Good kick to start. Good triple jump off the box. Does he get the dive? No dive necessary. Plenty of momentum. Yeah. It's almost more dangerous to go for it that way because if you have too much speed, you don't hold back enough, you will hit a death plane and not even fall back down onto the star. Pretty embarrassing if that happens and just annoying. It's a great feeling. Hey, Ouija, can a bit of lag there. There are some lag reductions you can do, but in general, that's a very laggy part of the stage, opening that door. Oh, missing the switch. Okay. I think he would have had the press. He just overshot it. And Benji about to enter Hazy Maze Cave now. Still a couple stars behind. 
But you know, he they've both been very calm. You know, I was saying that like anger might be an issue with the mentality, trying to overcome tilt, having to battle back after making big mistakes, but there's nothing really that bad that's tested these runners so much in the mental aspect as just a few things here and there, because the run has been really smooth for both of them. Well, it's it not, there's nothing to get tilted about, and it's exactly as you're saying. Both of these guys are playing very, very well. You know, regardless of Ouija's lead, Benji has been playing extremely well uh, to the level that we expect him to play at. You know, again, <laughs> a couple of mistakes here and there, but regardless of that, nothing really to note too dramatically. As Ouija's going to be finishing up with boulders, these boulders coming right after Mario, but able to avoid them. Yeah, You're... pretty sick. He is on definitely some 48 pacer. Yeah, it's going to be close. I think if he plays perfectly, he can still PB. But it's kind of a bit of a spoiler knowing that he PB today with the 4803, so we can assume it's not better than that. But still, insane run, and honestly, making Benji's pretty, pretty good run for his standards, but not quite able to keep up. There's just not been any room for him to make any gains. Glitchy wall kick, no good. Kind of scratching his head like, ah. How that happen? Yeah, that's a tough one, you know. Oh, not happy with the angle that he was getting, so rerouting. Maybe doing swinging in the breeze. Doing the triple jump off the flamethrower, and he gets it. Getting some heat from Steve O'Boyle in the chat. More like Steve O'Boyling my bones. <laughs> heat. <laughs> I love Steve. Absolute fire. Get some clocks in chat if you got them. Do I got them? Yeah, of course I got them. And Ouija trying to get these wall kicks. And Benji! Oh, Benji! I mean, that, that just that narrow little section between the rotating platform and that solid one just fell right in between them. Yeah, one of the worst ways to fail lack to bounce. Doesn't feel like your fault, and you die. Benji can get the second time, grabbing that pole instantly. And Ouija, like you said, another death. Just the exact same mistake, not getting that wall kick that he wanted. The, yeah, this is the only stage so far that's actually gone poorly, and it's gone poorly for both runners. Well, well it's tippy. You know, this is, uh, you know, of course. Ouija and Benji aren't, you know, bulletproof from Tippy. Tippy will take what Tippy wants, and Tippy wants some lives today, so. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> Nice triangles for Benji. And good adjustments there in the tricky section. Tippy tippying, indeed. Oh, Ouija. Just needing one more. Run. Yeah. Good rollouts with the triangles. Benji. Swinging in the breeze. Nice roll out over the flamethrower there. Yeah, he's definitely saving time over Ouija, but two deaths to one. Still not as much as he could have saved. We'll see if TTC will go any differently, because this is still within Benji's reach. A death on 100 point, especially, is the most dangerous hurdle left to overcome on Ouija's part. He's going for time jumps on moving bars, though, so kind of saving 100 point for later. 
just gonna let that simmer. Not having the smoothest start, but he kind of knows how to deal with it. Good recovery. When you're finishing up reds, that'll be the last star in Rainbow Ride. Neither of them having perfect reds, but good enough. Ouija actually got a... A dive that didn't quite make it um, over a ledge, and he had to do that slow getup, which is one of those annoying things that, if it ever happens, kind of puts you on some amount of tilt. But insane pendulums, I guess that's how you respond. Well, Benji going for 100 coins first. This this TTC 100 coins movement is just absolutely insane. Especially to get it down to perfection. Um, tons of work goes into this. And yeah, missing one point. blue coin. Okay, good adjustment now to set up the angle again. You can try to be too hasty on the reapproach, and you'll actually end up killing yourself. Benji very smooth here in the middle section. 70, 80, 90 coin range. Very difficult. Avoiding the invis wall right there. Oh, that horrible RNG. And oh, losing a coin. <laughs> it's kind of like in bowling. You got 10 pins and two of them, you know, it's kind of a split. Where you hit eight and then there's the two on the corners. They just fell out in opposite directions and you couldn't get both. But now he has finished 100 coin, and that's something Luigi hasn't done yet, so... Still a bit of a question mark over Luigi's head. And these next 50-ish seconds will probably decide it. Able to avoid that amp, that was very close. Yeah, this is a hot TC 100 right now, he's really moving it. Kind of like... In every other seat, like Fire Seat, TTM Reds, these heavy movement intensive things, he's just going fast, and that's what Luigi knows how to do. I think more than anyone, like, at his level, he does play, like, an absolute madman sometimes. Even when he missed the box there, really clean on the backup. This could be difficult. No invis wall? Okay, no invis wall. Missing one coin? Staying on? Wow. All right. So good stuff. Meanwhile, Benji taking care of rolling the cage. And that should be Ouija in a driver's seat now. Sky, the biggest hurdle, maybe not of the run, but of the end game, of course. It's never over till it's over, but now he can rest easy knowing that he just has to play consistently. He doesn't need to do anything special to win here. Alright, there's no red coins. Benji getting that butt slide, but able to get out of For a straight up angle. That's something I have not seen anyone else do. I noticed he did that for rolling the cage, so it's definitely not an accident. But it's curious to see how he's, how he's trying to bring his own flair to the game with some different camera angles. I'm not sure if it's better than what people normally do or not, but it might as well be if it works. Well, Luigi heading up into bits now. Uh, mid 48 to a high 48 on the docket, possibly. Yeah. As long as you can keep this clean, but uh, definitely not that 4803 that we heard about earlier. No PB here, and amped! I can miss a cycle. Wow, what a speed kick there. Ouija flying up the slope. Going from moving right, I'm sure. No, left side, okay. Yeah, keeping it safe. Benji finishing up. But maybe Red. this isn't the right idea. He's fallen down. Gonna have to go back up. 48 looking very tenuous. Hanging by a thread. I got, got a second try now.
Goku. This is gonna be so cool. Oh, that ledge guard probably killed 48. Yeah, uh, this fight takes about 40 seconds um, from entering, so you're looking at a very, very low 49 right now. Yeah. Even with we, even if we do does one spins, it'll be a low 49. It's a nice first throw though, Benji and Sky. So he has been still nipping at Ouija's heels, just never really within touching distance. Yeah, and so Benji will grab plenty of points here. Uh, Ouija missing a throw. Uh, so as long as he can get into this fight pretty quickly, but unfortunately missing that angle. But Ouija finishing it up here. Yeah, nice 49 for Ouija here. Could have been so much more, but really impressive anyway. Because last season, I went through the stats. He only got like a couple 49s the whole season. He's already got one. And with a lot of promise for something bigger. And you're taking his time on these elevators. Avoiding the Goomba. Still looking like a 50 pace. Getting in there, 49-40, so somewhere in the 50-20s if he doesn't miss any throws. Uh, I'm going to shoot for a 50-26. Let's say 50-34. First throw is good. Second throw. Oh, barely on. No. Oh, oh Benji trying to go for oh. it. Barely saving himself. Oh. <laughs> Yo! You gotta be careful with that rollout. <laughs> you should get the inner jump clip. Oh, Benji missing that re grab. Oh! Okay. It can take a while longer to grab that tail. He's in the middle of the stage. This is a pretty loft. Okay, never mind. It's not that bad. Just had to find the right bomb. But oh. now I'm gonna hit it. He's gotta yeah. get this thrown out of. to, to, attain, to obtain a 50. And there he goes. 50, 55, roughly speaking. And we're going to take home a W. And a good chunk of points here. It's 10 seconds for each one you win by. On top of the additional 60 up to 30. So he's winning by a minute and 40 seconds. So we're going to be like a 70-20 split, I think. Check my math. Something about that. That sounds about right. Well, unfortunately, that's going to be it for us. No interviews. This was pre-recorded as stated before, but very first time that we're all seeing this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Both me and Badronis are coming back to you live with another race. Tavascoth versus Rock Chalk and Frank. Uh, so make sure to stick around for just a moment. We will be right back with some more 70 Star Super Mario 64 action.